My Cyber Office. Today we're going to be testing out and showing you how the Horizon Plasma Fuge 6 works. Today we have the model 842 VDS. It is part of Drucker Diagnostics. This is a calibrated piece and we do have many in stock right now. So if you're interested, please visit our eBay page at My Cyber Office ID or our MyCyberOffice.com. So I'm going to start off the demonstration by having you see that you can do it at the highest RPM, which is 6,500. So I'm going to get this ready to show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and put down the latch, make sure that it is closed. And you'll see that it is by this light right here under the latch. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. You're going to see how quickly this accelerates. And you'll hear the sound of it. It sounds like a jet engine. So I'm going to have air come in quickly just to get a view of how quickly this accelerates and what it looks like inside the latch. So you can see the screen is keeping up to pace with how quickly this is rotating. And as it builds up speed, you can hear the sound amplify. We're nearing 6,000. And we're right at 6,500. So I'm going to let it run. And when I'm ready to let it break, I'm just going to press the stop button. You can hear how loud this is. Okay, now it's deaccelerating and you could adjust all of these components. I'm going to show you that after we open the latch. Okay. So Eric, I'll have you step back a little bit. We'll wait until it completely goes back to zero and then we can open it and I can show you the inside tubes. Okay, it's completely stopped, the alarm will go off and you'll see the little red unlock button. Let's open the latch and then I can show you that there are six cylinders in here. And they are in great condition, almost new and original. So here are the cylinders right here. I'm going to put it back into place. I'm going to go ahead and shut the lid down and I'll have Eric step back a little bit so I can show you how you can program this. So let's say we wanted to go down to 1000 RPM. All you need to do is press this down arrow next to the RPM bar. So we're at 1000. We can also adjust the time. So I'll change it to 5 or I'll change it to 2 minutes exactly. And then if you go into program, you can change the break. You can make it go higher or lower. You can also change things like acceleration, balance, and even the beeper along with the cylinders. So I'm going to go back to program. I'm going to hold it down. And I'm going to choose the memory setting. You can actually save these settings in memory. So if you need to go back to that same setting, you can automatically find it. Once I find the right memory I want to choose, which is two, I'm going to go back to program and hold it down. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead, start it up again for you guys using that setting. And you guys can see that this is in good working condition. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have a lot in stock. I'm going to end the video by allowing Eric to get a close-up of all the details. We have the calibration on the front here, as well as the model number on the back. Nice. And if you have any questions, again, you can visit us at our eBay page at My Cyber Office ID or our website.